This is Artifacts of Mars, and uh, title is Petri Dish Magic Cultivates Modern Chimera. What they're doing is they're uh, creating human-animal embryos in the lab. Just like Alex Jones has been saying, I gotta give the guy credit, you know, he's right. He's right here in black and white, and they're admitting to it. They're taking, uh, they're using... Pigs and sheep embryos are mixing DNA up. God only knows what they're creating. This scares the hell out of me. If I was religious, I might say that this is the mark of the beast. Only what they would do is maybe inject uh, a virus that would turn you into a part animal, and that would be the mark of the beast. That would be why it would be irreversible is that uh, you couldn't undo the changes. That's if I was uh, being uh, scared and thinking of conspiracy theories. Okay, so I am thinking about it. That's why I think the uh, Mark of the Beast could be. Uh, the purpose of Chimera research is not to bring animals to life, as Dr. Moreau did on Lion on the Mansion by H.G. Wells. That's BS. That is bullshit. Instead, non-human embryos can be thought of as petri dishes, in which development of human tissue can be observed. They may also follow the cultivation of human tissue, such as may also allow cultivation of human tissues such as hearts, livers, and kidneys. Nurturing human organs inside pigs and sheep is one possible solution to worldwide shortage of organs available for transplantation. Same thing Alex Jones has been talking about. Right to the letter. In fact, Chimera research has a long history. For decades, newborn mice have been humanized by insertion of human Liver cells and immune cells render them more biologically and analogous to humans during drug testing. Now, pluripotent human cells are being inserted into early animal embryos. These are, cells are feeded for their ability to blossom into virtually any cell, and very early animal cells are able to integrate them more easily. Great. Yeah, you know, I always hated that movie, I Own the Dr. Ron Moreau. I thought it was boring, but, uh, this is getting really sick and scary. If you were to believe the Bible, uh, this is actually what the Earth got flooded for, is this kind of experimentation. That's what some are saying. Scared yet? You ought to be. This is disgusting and abhorred. Name of the author is Anjana Ahuja. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered. Chimera was a zoological monstrosity, a Greek myth, a fire breathing beast with the head of a lion, body of a goat, and serpent for a tail. It was vanquished by. Bellerophon, who dropped blood into the creature's mouth, inducing molten suffocation. Yeah, you know, it's just great. God only knows what they're re releasing into the environment. Oh, well, yeah, God knows, because God wiped the earth out in the flood, if you believe the Bible. For this ju just this type of reason. That's what some are saying. Scared yet? You ought to be. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.